Hey, Mr. Parker here to review a new one from Sub Rosa Films. Uh, this is She Kills, directed by Ron Balk, who, rubs sub, uh, who runs Sub Rosa Films. So, yeah, uh, Ron Balk did some other ones that I reviewed, uh, Miss Cannibal, you know, and uh, you know, he, he uh, distributes a lot of cool stuff. Uh, so, yeah, She Kills. Uh, this is basically your uh, grindhouse throwback exploitation movie. Uh, style thing. A girl is raped and uh, she realizes during the process that she has some sort of weird uh, demon Satan possessed vagina which <clears throat> she uses to track down the guys and kill a bunch of them. So yeah, that's the plot. Pretty weird, pretty wild. Uh, well, I, what I will say about the movie is I think it's uh, really well shot. I liked how it was shot. I liked the camera angles they used. Uh, it's definitely, you know, independent movie. They, they do what they can to make it match up with the old school movies. And uh, a lot of those people just throw a shitty filter over a Grindhouse movie. Uh, th th this does have like a filter, I'm not sure, but it, nothing seemed to match. It didn't seem like it was the same filter going over and over again, which drives me nuts. So I thought the movie actually looked pretty good, and it was shot fairly well. Uh, and the the sets and the wardrobe and stuff like that is also really cool. Uh, what the, the, This is one of those things that the movie's not necessarily bad. It's just not my preference. It's not something I actually really like. It's uh, one of the deals where everybody overacts on purpose. Uh, and it's not, I love over the top characters when they're in a world where everyone knows that these people are kind of bizarre, but when everybody's overacting and being bizarre in the movie, purposely done to kind of mimic those movies, but it's so over the top that it's a parody of them. It's almost like the naked gun of exploitation movies. And, uh, I've only really enjoyed the naked, those kind of, uh, spoof movies when uh, some of the characters play it straight, a la Leslie Nielsen. No one here is really playing it straight. Everyone's in on the joke. Everyone's completely over the top. Uh, the lead actress does pretty well, you know, and especially for doing that, all those layers and being weird. She, she comes off pretty, fairly decent. Uh, to me, a lot of the other people I've seen them pop up in other movies and they're fine. They're pretty good. Uh, but it's just the, the style of the film in general makes everybody so over the top. Uh, for me, it's really hard to watch. Uh, I just don't particularly like those performances, and I don't like the purposely made bad movies like this, necessarily. Uh, it's a special kind of movie to do that for me, and this one necessarily doesn't work for me, but uh, there's going to be a lot of people that enjoy it, and well, I will say there's also some good gags in here. If it was less of an exploitation style and took itself... Uh, uh, less of a spoof and exploitation movie and more of a homage, which it kind of is as well, I think I would have loved the hell out of it. If it would have been played a little bit more straight, I would have loved it. But uh, a lot of people, doesn't really matter what I think necessarily on that because a lot of people will love it. Like uh, there's nonstop jokes, there's nonstop fighting and silliness, and there's, there's a lot of action in here. Some of the practical effects are really fun and good. There's some digital effects. Some are good, some are bad, you know. That tends to be the case with a lot of independent movies. But uh, some of the gags in here are really funny. Uh, one of the characters is supposed to be this, you know, uh, this ladies man, and he walks into a bar, and uh, this all the girls are supposed to be going crazy over him, even though he's a complete nut, nutbag, and gross. Uh, and uh, the girl's pants rip open, her vagina opens, and liquid shoots out, and he pulls an umbrella out. See, like, I think that's a good gag, and I, I would love to see these gags in other movies. I just don't like that it's like the spoof-style exploitation movie, and it's just so over the top. It's too much for me. It goes into one of those categories where it's, it's just actually too stupid for me. And uh, I, I wish that it was played a little bit more straight. I think that I would absolutely love it. Uh, and there's, there's a lot of heart. I mean, there's a lot put into the movie is what I say. I, I say there's a lot of, uh, you know, good, good sets. Like I said, it's shot nice and there's a lot of people in it and a lot of stuff was put into the movie, but it's not really something that I particularly enjoy. The DVD on here has four commentaries. I listened to the first one with Ron Balk and, uh, I actually really enjoyed the commentary. He knows a lot about exploitation movies. He talks a lot about the movie. Uh, I enjoy the commentary more than I do the movie. Uh, it's just, like I said, it just seems like such a waste to me. Like if you have all this like passion for these movies and it just, it's just so stupid when it, it, it just, I know that's what the intention is, but it's just not for me. That's what it comes down to. Not for me. Uh, the acting's so over the top, I, I just can't watch it. It's similar to the movie I watched Easter Sunday, right? I really couldn't watch it either. It's just, uh, although I think that the actors in this one are uh, are 100% on board with what they're doing, and I'm not sure on all of them at Easter Sunday. Uh, but uh, there's a lot put into She Kills, and uh, if you watch a trailer and you see that kind of uh, spoofy, over-the-top nature, I think you'll enjoy it. But uh, for me, there's a there's a couple standout scenes, and there's a lot of cool gags that I wish you know were used in other movies. Uh, there's there's a elongated dance.
dance scene that, that made me laugh. And, and uh, you know, there's, there's some stuff that I think a lot of people enjoy. The concept to me is hilarious. Uh, but it's such a ridiculous concept that I think if you would have played it straight, it would have come across uh, like an exploitation movie and been campy and fun in its own way. Maybe with bad dialogue, everybody playing it straight would have been great. And I like the visual gags in the background of, you know, continuity and, 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 and mistakes like that. But just when everybody's... Just being ridiculous, it just comes off too ridiculous for me. But that's uh, She Kills. I think a lot of people will enjoy this regardless. Uh, I think they'll dig the hell out of it, to be honest. But it just comes down to one of those things. It's really not for me. But, uh, you know, uh, I like Ron uh, Ron's company. I like what he does. Releases a lot of classic, like, Tim Ritter stuff on Blu-ray. And, you know, I dig that. I dig the hell out of it. But, uh, Mr. Parker, thank you very much for watching, and have a good one. These are the Touchers. They are a ruthless gang that runs the city. Hooligans making their own rules for a society too pussy to fight back. This is Sadie, an innocent virgin who just wanted to love and enjoy life. But when the paths of good and evil cross, the line between them ignites like nitroglycerin sprinkled on a fire in a dynamite factory with a gas leak. That's because Sadie is no ordinary woman. Her vagina has been touched by forces beyond our world, making her a warrior of unexpected power and fury. They attacked her man. They violated her. They destroyed her family. And now they shall feel the wrath of her vengeance. Sadie is woman scorned. Now hear her roar. Jenny Russo is Sadie in She Kills. Coming soon. Rated 17 and older by the IDRB.